dziesmas arī noteikti Latvijas šobotā, bet tagad mēs varētu arī uzzināt jau tradicionālo gabalu, kur, man liekas, mēs jau te vairāk zienas esam dziedājuši, tu līdz tīķies arī pa palīdzi, mēs vēlcam. Aiziet! Piesaldējam balsīs! Skaļāk! Kamēr dzīvē noteikti arī izvēlēmies kādu no savām komandām, par kuram jūs to līdzi šajā sēdē. Un tā kā sākam cīt plausas rimā! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the trophy for the winner will be presented shortly, and you can see it here. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 European Championship Final, the golden match in women's competition between Czech Republic and Germany. First referee, Egil Sishanos, Latvia. Second referee, Agnieszka Miskosia, Poland. And now, meet the players, Czech Republic. Major C5, wearing blue shirts. Player number one, Christina Kolotova. Hello and welcome to Germana Latvia for the women's final of the 2017 Beach Volleyball Championships. The gold medal match here in the European final between the Czech duo and the Germans and the dramatic track to the final for both teams with the uh, the Czechs, the fifth seeds and uh, the lower ranked ninth seed Germans who've taken down three of the pairs of their own country to get here and both looking for their biggest victory in their careers in winning this continental event with uh, the Czech Republic pair Kolosava and Kavipolova and Grosner and Glenske the Germans have met on only one occasion, and it was earlier on this uh, summer in July in Gestad in Switzerland. And the Czechs took it 21-19, 21-15. And uh, they'll be looking this new pairing. Both of them really are uh, recent coming together. It is going to be the Germans to serve first. And the Czechs for the right of your picture to receive. So the gold medal match in the European Championship final is underway and uh, looking for the first points. And so it is for the Czechs with uh, Kosova spending a long time with uh, Sluka, Slukova for uh, changing partners and a couple of big career wins for her back in 2014. 
Now with a new partner. In the last couple of years, Kavipulova, not happy with the challenge at the net as the point eventually goes to the Germans, who are the most dominant both in men's and women's history in this tournament, with seven in the, uh, the ladies' section. Well, manages to get that back in, a brilliant uh, shot from Glinski. And uh, she does manage to take the first point. The 21-year-old who joined uh, Grosna after she separated with Bienek after five years together. So really setting out the beginning of her career, Glenske, and this would be a brilliant first uh, victory on the tour for her. Playing the uh, the block role, Glenske and uh, Kavipolova for the Czechs, who's a uh, former national indoor volleyball player with the Czech Republic. Changed sports a couple of years ago. She's now serving with it to 2-2. Two Glinski -two. sets it up in the narrow angle. See much uh, longer points usually as it drops down under the net in the women's game because of uh, the, the difference in height between the men and the women. Thanks for very exciting games, and we've seen some extremely exciting ones from uh, this German duo knocking out the double defending champions, their uh, country women, in the, uh, the quarterfinal stage. Coming from behind, Ludwig and uh, Volkenhorst, unable to make it three in a row. It's all square still here. Wonderful dig, but unable to keep it in. Glenski. And in decent form, both uh, these two. Reasonable world ranking. Recent uh, tournaments in Vienna. They both made the round of 32. That one just drifts over on the angle into the front court. Gets the point back. Checks. Just unable to cover the court on that occasion. This 3,000 seater stadium here on the beach in Latvia. As it just drops in. It's a good shot at the net from Kolosova. On three in their last three games after coming through the pools for the Czechs. Well set for the uh, just a little tip into the opposition end, and that one's going to go long. Krosna, shorter of the two at 29 years of age. 24 on the world tour, a German duo. Some surprises with both of these in the final as it finds the, uh, the court. Both played their semis earlier on this afternoon in the, uh, the early part of the day. Now, just coming up to 4.30 p.m. Latvian time is a great dig. Unfortunately there, Polosol unable to get it across the net despite having it well presented to her from uh, Kavipolova. Men's final coming up after this and the third place. Short serve. Just trying to tip it. Excellent block at the uh, net by Glenske, who's there again and on this occasion. Unable to get it back to a teammate. Double touch. Glinski coming up with the spike, and it's well wide of the far channel. This is the first time in this game we've seen the two-point advantage open up with the first switch of ends 
And the Czechs looking to emulate their uh, country women from 1996 to 1998 in winning this European Championship as uh, Kolosova with the serve. Not too close to the net, was it? And it was perfectly placed, in fact. Now set up as uh, Kolosova. Glinski finds it over the top. No block there from Kavipolova, who is falling at the net as the power strike driven through from Glinski. Germans beat sixth, second, and seventh seed in that order. Oh, trying so hard there with the leap. Grosner to uh, keep the ball alive and find a teammate. Grosner is a 2014 gold winner in Anapa, Russia, with the former partner Bienek. Grosner manages to get it, but uh, sends it flying long. And now a three point advantage for the Czechs. Mentioned they beat them in July, two sets to nothing. Both went on to lose in the round of 16. They're in Gustad. It's a huge opportunity for both of them as they end striking the net. So just a loss of momentum as the Czechs take a four point advantage here in the first set. With 18 points played, first opportunity to, to rehydrate. Knocking out the, uh, the number one seeds in the last round, the Czechs. The German duo are ranked number two in the world. Eventually went on to win the bronze medal match that uh, was taken place just before this, uh, this final. But difficult to call, really. Both of them uh, perhaps going further than was anticipated. Also beaten the fourth seeds from Switzerland, the uh, Czech duo. One loss in the pools. Uh, came in through as lucky losers, the Germans, after losing two. Now, can they get back in it with a four point deficit? And there is the drive at the net, which uh, does get them back the serve and the point. Just unable to cut off the angle there at the net. Vipolova. What a dig, keeps it alive, and now can she hit the point? She does with the sliced right-handed attempt across the face of the front court, changing the angle, finding the, the point. The good work herself from Grosnet. Set up. Easy to keep alive, off the net, excellent work from the young Glenske. So good, in fact, they've taken another point, so from four behind, it's back to one. Here in the final. Incredible athleticism from uh, the men and the women in this uh, extremely demanding two-player sport. So much space to cover. Wonder panting. As we see the more experienced Kolasova. 29 to uh, Kavipolo's 27. We've got the big tournament coming up also next week. Tour finals in, in Hamburg. And all the rest of the world will be involved. The Brazilians, North Americans, Canadians and uh, and those from the United States. Germany has a great history in the World Tour. I think the beach volleyball.
Rostam gets us going again at the net. Kolosova just goes for the short tap as uh, didn't really have the right position from the set. Maybe now. And a much better execution that time. Driving through the court. No power on the right arm to uh, stop that flow of points that was going the way of the German duo. You can see the excitement how they uh, celebrated that. So back to a two-point advantage. Not in any blocks of the net so far. It was well worked. And then they've got another one. So swinging seesaw-like between uh, strings of points. Anticipating well the movement of uh, Glensky at the net. He's going to have this smash. Oh, and there is the first big block that gets the four-point advantage. Using a height at uh, 1 meter 83. Same measurement as uh, Nadia Glensky. Grosner. Penalized there. Does manage to get it over the top of Glensky. Despite that penalized point, they manage to restore the four point advantage. And they're closing in towards that 21 point mark. We saw in the, uh, the bronze medal, strong first set. Well, that's uh, causing real problems more than wiping its feet on the net as it found its way over the top. Is this an impregnable lead now to uh, take them? To the one advantage. Rosner does get it over the top as it swings back again. Still checking a very strong position. Went three between Poland and Germany after the Polish won the first set. Comes to it, it looked extremely strong. They had set points for the bronze medal. So the German duo. One seeds came back to take it in the end. Good serve down the line. Excellent pickup by uh, Kolosova. And then follows it with the point. So difficult to close these big gaps with uh, a few points remaining. Certainly going to be some nerves out there, but. Uh, Say the checks with a bit more experience does the best. Kolosova to keep it in with the left hand as he dove. Huge point. They've got to get the next couple to put the pressure back on their opponents. Kolosova perfectly set up, and that one's gone wide. Step at a time. Come from behind three times in the pool. And round once in the pool and round two and three. But on that occasion, couldn't manage to get it as the Czechs take the four point advantage. I think if they get this next swan, there's going to be no way back. Vipulovar. Set up now, though, for Glinski. Puts it wide. They claim that it came off the hand of Kavipulovar. And the official agrees. Delicate one, point given. 
So the uh, contact with the ball, the reason that, that wasn't uh, allowed to continue is in the open hand. Improvisation. First, we've seen Avad and Kolosova puts it into the backcourt, realizing the space was there. And the Czechs have five match, five set points to, to wrap this up comfortably. And struck the net. So there it is 21 15 in the first. Checks closing in to uh, the biggest, biggest victory together as uh, a pair the last couple of years. Some good performances uh, in America, so in Europe, to get to stand in the winner's circle. They're the older Grosner, eight years as senior to partner. Some words of advice. As we take a look back at some of the highlights of this first set. Well, they're going to have the belief, surely, that they're going to be able to do another miraculous comeback after all they've achieved in this week's tournament. And the players get back to the second set. It's the gold medal match in women's competition. Please be. All the fans here certainly going to be waiting for the men's final. Just going to feature the Latvian fourth seeds. This is an extra, excellent warm up. Now we're underway again. Grosner with the uh, delicate touch across the net. It's touching of hands, just keeping uh, themselves and their team spirit as high a level as they possibly can. Well, the first ace of the match. Finding the left side. Apologies, the back of the court. And well, there's another one. So, a brilliant start to the second set for the Germans. Opening up clear space between them. Czechs are yet to get on the board. Is it going to be now? Kolosova rushing at the net. And there they do finally have it. They begin to erase their arrears. Just that little step to the right before she serves. You see with the Kavipolo, Kavipolovar. She was then out of position as she went to block at the net. And uh, Kolosova couldn't come across. So this is a good start for the German duo. get that was from Grosner who looks to get the point but somehow with the two hands open at the back of the court Colosso again produces the magic doesn't let their opponents to get away from them Take a look at this smash straight down towards her but she manages to close her palms in front of her face and direct it back over the net to get the sixth point this up they do and now dropping low no uh, Grosner running around and diving all she could to try and dig it out the, uh, the initial touch from Grosner just too close to the net which allowed the Czechs to take control the uh, hottest of days 20 degrees cloudy it was raining yesterday Again, coming to the net and took the little dummy there. Kavipolova rushing back to offer support in the center of the court. 
Short touch to exploit that space. On the short court. Oh, another canny piece of work at the net, though. So from having that three-point advantage, Jinx managing to get their game going after a strong response following loss of the first set. They managed to split between the two, Grosnet, the Kolosova and Vipolova. Unable to cover it with the opportunity down the line or into the center of court. An option. gone as well restore their three-point advantage one of the few serves we've seen hit long and uh, Easy free point there for the Czechs. Again going for the block and a, uh, an excellent spike down the centre of the court, which uh, yields Yet another point for them. They've been in total control of the first part of this set. Block still alive, right on the net, and again, Glenske, the 21 year old. This pair living in Hamburg now, training together, doing a double attempt. Just against Vipolova and Kolosova. It's a four point advantage. Small margins, but uh, those are the uh, things they've got to focus upon. Because the nerves are only going to continue to increase. Oh, blasted long by Grosnet. Strike of the net just helped uh, Kolosova, who's there, putting it wide. And just angle it across towards the back of the court when uh, this wasn't necessary. Now, Wary of the, uh, the big Glenske in front of it. Best points we've seen, it's gone out. Don't think that went inside the blue line. Well, it has been given, let's keep an eye on the ball. Good block of the net, but uh, fell kindly in front of Glenske, who's now going to try and win the point, and which she manages to execute. Reading the play well in the defensive position. Gonna give up though, they've got the advantage and they continue to push hard to try and close the gap on the Germans who have led from the very first point. Showing the depthness of touch to pick out the angle. 
That one's landed in. So poor decision to leave the to leave the ball, thinking it was sailing long, but it just drops inside the line. Grosner there, giving the Czechs their first ace of the set. Some of the highlights of this gold medal match here in the 2017 European Championship final. Some important work to do as well next week, so the form and the confidence that they gain from this tournament victory, whichever pair eventually crosses the line first, will surely be important for that as they try to claim an even bigger crown. The, uh, the tour finals in Hamburg. So after the technical timeout, that was the last point that saw the gap reduced to just one. So despite having uh, controlled this set up to this point, uh, the duo of Grosner and Glensky, this serve could well see them level the checks for the first time. up the crowd glued to the action excellent uh, use of the angle again there by Grosner at the net that's been a fa fascinating and entertaining tournament from from the women this year so many surprises, just manages to dig it up, but the serve dropping down after brushing the net and uh, following the timeout, the Germans again restoring a clear advantage. It's a little difficult to anticipate when it is striking the net and coming down at that sharp angle, as opposed to there, where they're in position waiting. That's inside the line. Actually, getting more and more pumped up as the set goes on. Another vital serve here. Pushing it out to the left corner, which uh, just perhaps catching Grosner unaware. She was only able to push it into the crowd. Sailing out to the right side of the court as they look at it, the Czechs. Again, it's a one-point game. Again, she went for the wide serve. Now, on the angle, backing up. Well, Grosner makes up for it with the shot down the line, and uh, this is going to be a tight one right to the very end. See there, so instead of going for the block, she backed up. Good touch at the net from Kovipolova. Just haven't given up despite being behind for the whole game. All set, I should say. Again, testing her to the left side of the court. Ken Grosner using that angled shot across the into the front court change of ends probably the last one you'd say of this uh, this second set difficult life on the road for these girls not massive prize money unless you win at the big tournaments the uh, World Tour five-star, four-star tournaments, it's around $60,000 US. A lot of traveling involved. These two talking about how they changed their diet to uh, try and just uh, really prove every edge after advice from a nutritionist. So this has been a big success so far. 
this week's tournament here in Latvia. All eyes focused. Two point game in favor of the German duo. Set down. Great dig that from Grosnet. Is it going to be enough? Sends it high. And the longer points in the match. And that one's gone out. Extreme pleasure there of Kvitpulova. Uh, Doesn't get the block at the net, and it uh, was too central there with uh, Grostad not right up against the net, which gave her a little more trajectory to get it up and over the top of uh, Kvipolova. Closing in now, deservedly so, you'd say, in this second set after leading throughout. Czechs need a big response, and there's the first one. Wow, the guys in the blue shirts love this. <laughs> I know they're the floor ball team, right? Hey, <laughs> you're doing great today. Having to stretch there to set it up, and just a touch does keep it alive. Excellent acrobatics, only to smash it into the net. Kolosova. They restore the four-point advantage again. Well, it was incredible athleticism from the Czechs to uh, to manage to have this one. Look at that from Kolosova on the full dive. Sets herself well. It rasps the ball into the top of the net. So three points away, the Germans, from tying this one up and sending us into a, a final decider. And what goes the way of the Czech Republic? Host of different nations to get here: Latvians, Norwegians, Russians, Swiss, Finns. As that one, oh, it's a good attempt, but just too deep into the back of the court for Kolosova to retrieve it. There's now only two points remaining for them to square the match. It seems certain that that will be the conclusion to this second set. Sees the movements, very quick to jump and hang in the air, knowing that half the court was empty. Kvipulova is tapping it to the left side of Glenske at the net. Well, she's had success with that serve into the channel earlier on, but uh, trying it on that occasion. Only sees uh, a missed serve and four set points for the Germans to level things up. For a solver. Well, she does get one back. Kvipulova, Grosnet to the set point, picks it up and then into the back court. Grosnet saves it and here to win it. Oh, it's a brilliant get. And again, and it just drops out. So we level here in the women's final in the European Championships in Latvia. And 21-17. They take the second set. That was another excellent point, but uh, it was this one here that had to be the scoring point, so they decide who will serve first. First to 15. Two point, to, to clear point advantage, of course, in the final set. So the most dramatic possible way to finish this year's uh, edition. Tournament started back in 1994. Germany looking for 
eighth victory. Italy with five, a second in terms of gold medal wins. There aren't that many beaches in Germany. All those curious things always associate. It's more with the North Americans, with the US certainly, and then Brazil. It's so effective at the Olympics. And we're here for the third set in this so the final set match. Now, of the final match in the women's Germany category Kubo of this uh, year's Yuri tournament. Let's go. 35 minutes so far. Rosna opens us up. Uh, runaway start at the beginning. Oh, that's a good one. It's the line. And a runaway start at the beginning of the last one, going 3 0 ahead, the German pair. But on this occasion, Kolosova just catches the line. That's a superb accuracy there, just inches to play with. Backing up again. And once again, been very effective. Julia Grosno at the net using that slice shot to the front court. A good dummy backing up Kavipola Kavipolova, excuse me. Oh, doesn't get the bounce. Got a, a big helping hand from the net. Drifted beyond the line and out. So, quick turnaround here for the Germans. Oh, it's dropped in. See the way the ball there, just uh, going down like a stone. So seemingly hang hanging long. So the Czechs have rather thrown that away after having the 1-0 advantage. This is an important point. And the block at the net by Glenske makes it 4-1. You fancy they're going on now with the momentum after winning the second set. Some poor choices from the Czech duo. Beginning of this one. Oh dear. Well, really like sand going through their fingertips at the moment, and this is going to take an incredible focus of energy. See, a bit disappointed there. The people of art was chucking the bottle behind because it was her touch that sent it nowhere near one of her teammates, or near a teammate, excuse me, Kolosova. Despite taking the first point, these types of moments, letting the ball drift between the two of them, rueful smile on the face of Kolesova. This one here doesn't get in a good position, comes off the left hand. And they have a commanding position as we get ready to go again here. Try and remember, follow all the training. Still in play. Well played there. Bipolovar looks for the smash. Cross court into the back. And they do finally notch their second point. Another vital one here. There's three advantage for the Germans now. It's going to be almost impossible for the Czechs to come back at a bigger and bigger margin. And they do get the point for 6-2. This is going to be easily the biggest victory of their, of their pairing together in the last year or so. 21-year-old Glenske certainly right at the start of her career. Both sets have won. That one's in. Both the sets of uh, players have won national tournaments, but none at the international level. See the puff of sand 
making it easy for oh, the Lions judge. Good serve, pushed out wide, and now the smash gets it up. Good work in the defensive court. We're going to see the block, narrow angle, goes across again, learning from a partner there, Glinski. Using that slice across the face of the net, 7-3. We'll look back to the beginning of this set if it does go the Germans' way. So, the errors came. And that was perfectly executed. Really driving through the ball, having away with it. Spent so much time together, these girls, on tour, training, living together. In the many cases during the tournaments as that one goes out so that's something of a free point that closes the gap back to two a crucial moment there as we saw with the Kvipula Vazera for the break and Glenske unable to control it the pressure is on that's out and another error from the 21 year old as it's back to one Again, the biggest moment of her short career. Time out called. Grossnet probably just wants to have a word with her young teammate. So see some treatment as well there. Pain in the ankle and the knee. Uh, yeah, we can see that the uh, Germans uh, are switching a bit. I hope this uh, everything okay, and they will be back in just a few, few moments from now. Uh, as Here is the trophy that they'll be walking away with one of these two at the moment. Just, uh, Can't really call it. Uh, it was going the way of the Germans, but uh, after that last run of points in favor of the Czechs. Incredible respect for this uh, sport, such a physical exertion to cover that space with only two. Okay. Volleyball, indoor volleyball teams. Such a different prospect, strikes the line. Big point, and that little timeout just helping refocus the mind. Good smash, no defense offered there by uh, Kavipa Lovara at the net. a costly mistake a lot of games completed in the last uh, four days since the opening rounds the pools now just the final points to decide the champion could serve deep into the court Oh, well, the communication there coming from Polosova, which perhaps just confused Kvipulovara at the uh, net. She started to backpedal. Watch here. He switched. And ended up an easy point for the Germans. Excellent touch and composure. Still, the Germans have that vital advantage, which they haven't given up since going from 1-0 to 2-1. Oh, there is a point that brings it level. Again, with a step to the right as uh, Kvipilovar made the serve, dropping down, and Glensky unable to control. the moment another excellent serve rushes to the net goes back and that one strikes the the line on the far far side as the Germans look at it and smash down and uh, re take the lead what a dig and then follows up, excellent teamwork, quick response from Glenske to Grosner. 
Open up the advantage again. Four points away from the gold medal. Here it was. Just uh, swatting it down. It's gone wide, I think. So the Germans take a three point advantage, and that could be the end for this uh, hopeful Czech duo. It's become the first women to win here since uh, win the tournament since 1998. Just manages to get it up. Here's the smash. Well, she tipped it and then blocked well by Glenskate. Another chance, another return. And the Germans will not be beaten. Does finally get the point. Well, that was uh, vital for the hopes of uh, staying in. Shout for the, uh, the gold. It's a sterling defense from the Germans. Just up to 5 p.m. local time. The vital point. Well, it was difficult to deal with because it was so close to the net. But again, the youngster Glenske with a quick and accurate reaction. 13-10. She certainly played her part. The experience of Grosner and uh, defensive work at the back of the court. But very good uh, reactions in and around the net. That one's in from Kolosova. There we go. The tension. So much on the line. The big uh, title in the cabinet. Up the touch. Oh, it was such a good attempt from Kolesova. But point number 14 sets up match points, tournament points, gold medal points for the German women. Throwing everything she could at that. And despite winning the first set, 21-15, it is the Germans who will take the gold if they can come up with one of these next points. I think that's gone long, it has, so it's over. They win 15 to 11, and Grosner and Glenske achieve the biggest victory of their career, but a 21-year-old, fantastic start to hers. And it's all smiles as they hug on the grass. Commiserations to the Czechs, finishes 15-21, 21-17, 15-11, favor of the new European women's uh, champions Julia Grosner and Nadia Glenske, the ninth seeds, who managed to come through beating uh, their country women, the sixth, second, and seventh seeds, and uh, knocked out the double defending champions Ludwig and Volkenhorst. And so it's extreme delight for them. With a fantastic come from behind victory and achieving something that uh, no one could have believed earlier on in the week. Nine seeds come through to take the gold so they can enjoy the celebrations. There's more to come with the men's bronze medal match and then the men's final, which will feature the, feature the Latvian duo and the Italians. That's all we've got time for here from Latvia and Germala. You with the winners and the final pictures of the Germans and the tears of the Czechs. Goodbye. Have they planned? <laughs> you were asking me, I think no. This is a really fantastic surprise for a lot of people, maybe not for somebody, but anyway, we can congratulate the fantastic two players who have won the European Championship Final. Well, I was uh, about to ceremony. Uh.
Un uh, noteikti ir pie visu visu spalīt, ka arī pēc uh, nākamās spēles un nedoties uz uh, izvējām, bet palikt uz zelvotam ceremoniju, kurā pielīdzīs visi gan uh, citoni ir organizātori, gan spēlētāji, gan spēlētāji, un, protams, arī uh, saprotiskie vienas, un uh, mēs varēsim tā visu kopā vēlreiz uzvēlēt čempionēm un čempioniem. Ladies, congratulations with the victory. Tell us about the first impressions when you are champions. Oh, European champion! I don't know what to say. It was, it was a really tough game. You turned it around. How did you make it happen? Oh, I don't know. We just uh, fighted. We know we lost the first set, but it's it's okay. We know they play good. They are in the final, so we just keep the focus like in the last games. I don't know. How about the pressure before this game? You know, this is final. How, how it was to prepare for this game? So actually, we were so happy we in the final. We we could not believe that we are in the final, and now I think we just played with this joy and with this happiness, and this puts us to the first place. I think. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs>